Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about proportional editing. And you can turn on proportional editing in object mode, but it's way more powerful in edit mode. So let's switch into edit mode with our monkey and just do tab and turn on your proportional editing and just select a few different uh, points here. I noticed that the point is kind of pointing this way. So I'm going to switch my orientation back to global and notice now it's pointing up and down, left and right. That's what we'll be in most of the time. So now we have proportional editing turned on. A quick way to toggle this on and off with your keyboard is to hit O on your keyboard and that will toggle on and off your proportional editing. And sometimes you need this and sometimes you don't, but what's really cool about it is if you select a point, say though maybe just the point on the top of her head, everybody grab that point and hit G and Z. Notice we're just, it looks like we're just moving a point, but if you notice, there's a tiny little circle that's appearing right there. And if you scroll on your mouse wheel, it'll keep getting bigger and bigger or smaller and smaller. So go ahead and just enlarge that circle of influence. And essentially that is what proportional editing is. It's kind of influencing the other points around it. Sometimes you're like, oh, I want this to move up, but I want everything else, but I don't want to do it all individually. You can just use proportional editing and say, hey, Let's just like slide everything up here and you know, maybe we don't want it to t hit the eyebrows. So we'll just do something like that. Um, another cool thing is the drop down here. You've got all different ways that you can use this fall off. So right now we were using the smooth, which is kind of like a cone head shaped. But if we undo that and switch it to sphere and then do G and Z, now it's more moving more in a spherical shape, um, you know, as we want to proportionally edit some things. And so a, a way that this could be really useful is like, say you wanted to just move a big part of the ear. You could uh, say we want to lasso select and we want to be able to see through. So we get the whole ear here. We can just select. So everyone select part of your ear and then hit G. And notice as we enhance, you know, scale that proportional editing up, it's actually affecting the geometry around it that is kind of getting taken over by this this little circle here with our scroll mouse wheel. So very powerful tool. Uh, feel free to play with all of these different ones. They're just gonna fall off in different ways. But today I just wanted you to be aware of kind of what proportional editing is, what it does, and why you may want to use it from time to time. And we will be using it in future lessons, but for the beginning lesson, we're not gonna dabble too deep into it, but I just wanted you to know what it is and how to use it. So that is all for this lesson. Let's go into the next lesson where we're going to talk about the challenge and just really make sure that you have your, your, your project set up for the next fun part of the course, which is fixing this Suzanne so it can be 3D printed. Let's have some fun and make this monkey 3D printable. Here we go.